Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I am gonna explain TSEZ 2020 Microsoft Microprocessor Paper. This is completely theory subject and you have to by heart each and every topic. And there will be a lot of, lot of content to remember. I think that's why it is a heavy weighted subject in EZ. In 2020 itself, it is given 13 questions. 13 questions. Now let's dive into the, first, into the first question. Handshaking functions are performed in P PPI 8255 by using dash port. 8255 is a programmable IO device. It's, it is a programmable I.O. device. It is designed to interface between CPU and external peripheral external devices. It has three ports. Port A, Port B and Port C. Port A and Port, port B are used for input or I output based on their different modes. And Port C is used for handshaking. So the answer is Port C. Let's move to our next question. 8086 is a dash bit microprocessor. 8086 microprocessor is the most important topic in MP. So learn in in depth so that you can go you can gain more marks. 8086 is a 16-bit microprocessor having 20 address lines. 20 address lines and 16 data lines 16 data lines and M and 1 dim 1 mb of storage if you uh, if you want to remember here is a trick 6 and 6 you can remember in this way it in this way now let's move to our next question 8086 microprocessor can operate in dash modes. 8086 supports dual modes. It, it operates in max minimum mode and another is maximum mode. In minimum mode is used for single processors. Single processors. In maximum mode is used in when it is multi multiple processors. Dash block doesn't come under the architecture of eight zero two eight six. Eight zero two eight six is an upgraded version of eight zero eight six processor. 8086 has four blocks. One is address unit, execution unit, instruction unit, bus unit. Now let's see the options. We have address unit, execution unit, bus unit, and another one is instruction unit. But it is given control unit. It is wrong. As as in this control unit is present in execution unit but it is not a block control unit is not a block it is a unit in execution unit now let's move to our next question sign flag of 8086 microprocessor is set to 1 when the result of any computation is dash the answer is negative sign flag is also known as negative flag and it is under the it is comes under the status flag status flags now let's move to our sixth question maximum mode of 8086 process microprocessor uses dash number of processor as i have said earlier may, maximum mode is for multiple processors which means 
one or more than one more than one as uh, so according to the given options the answer is one or more than one it is not zero only one not sorry no processor it is more than one or more than one now let's move to our next question move cx ax uh, substitute subtract al comma bl is is an example of dash addressing mode here we can see that we have got direct uh, registers here it is specified directly registers we did not have any uh, effective address or indexes values so it is a register addressing mode the answer is yes it's a register addressing mode it's not immediate because here we don't have any values directly in uh, immediately given and register indirect here we don't have any effective address of uh, any address and it is not indexed because we don't have any effective address specified here so it is a register addressing mode be perfect with this addressing modes these are very simple to differentiate if you learn if you go through them and it is more they are mostly asked questions in exams now let's move to our next question dash instruction is used to convert two unpacked bcd ds in ah and al to equivalent binary number in al ad a a a d ascii adjacent before device divisor adjust adjustment is made before dividing the two unpacked bcd digits in ax by the, an unpacked bcd byte after division al will be contain the unpacked bcd uh, quotient and ah will contain the unpacked bcd remainder i have given the links of these answers shortly so, uh, go through them for easy understanding now the eighth question repeat instruction prefix uses dash register to decrement the answer is count register cx over here it is because rep is the prefix written before one of the string instructions it is used for representing an instruction count number of times where count is stored in the cx register and if, if after every operation the cx register is decremented and the zero flag is tested the process continues till cx is dx uh, cx becomes zero now let's move to our next question ic8279 cpu interface section request internal address for selecting data 8279 is a programmable keyboard or display interface keyboard or display interface it requests two internal addresses a0 is for selecting data buffer and a1 a0 data buffer and a1 for selecting control registers control registers of a279 now move to our next question dash microprocessor is used to uses multiplexed data and address lines multiplexed data and address lines means that the ad address pins are shared with dq dq signals dq signals we have multiplexed data and address lines for 8086 and 8088 processors only uh, now our 12th question 80486 microprocessor is packaged in a dash pin grid array package it is 8168 uh, pin grid array package you should know, you should be able to know the uh, 
difference between 8086, 8086, 8086, 8086, 486 and Pentium processors. I have provided a link which shows the difference easily. Go through it. Now it's it's for the final question. The non-maskable interrupt input requests a dash interrupt. Now let's see what are the uh, what are the types of interrupts and what they do. What we can do them. Type zero interrupt represents division of uh, division by zero situation. Zero 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 interrupt and type one. Interrupt represents single step execution during the debugging of a program. Single step execution during the debugging of a program. And type 2. Interrupt represents non maskable interrupt. NMI is represented by type 2 interrupt. Type 3. Represents breakpoint interrupt. Type 4. Represents the overflow interrupt. Make make the notes of this as uh, as short notes in your short notes so that in before uh, before going to exam you can go through them once so it will be very easy to remember these points. A compulsory question will be asked on this on this type of interrupts. There are only five things five to remember, so be perfect with this. And finally, if you guys see that. Uh, it, many questions are asked on 8086 mic microprocessor so in, it is very easy it is very easy topic so go through them you can easily score at least 8 marks in if you uh, perfectly learn the 8086 microprocessor so <laughs> thanks Noste.